So now we will ask Madame Maimouna to answer some of the questions sent in by staff. Mm. First of all, how can collaboration and trust between headquarters, regional offices, and countries' offices be strengthened? Through communication. To me, effective uh, communication will improve understanding. Improve understanding will enhance our teamwork. And enhance teamwork definitely will strengthen the UN habitat. What is the roadmap for the change process? At the moment now, we are in August, and we hope to get the positive impact as early as October, and the final impact will be in December. Uh, but the change process actually is not stopped in December. It should be continuous for us to change for the better. And is there specific criteria that have to be fulfilled in order to a staff member to become a change agent? And if so, what are the criteria? Yeah. The main important criteria to me, he or she must love UN Habitat. Once they love UN Habitat, they will have the sense of belonging, the sense of pride and belonging, and the sense of being a champion. It's not only the ED's change process, it's also the everybody's change process. But of course, we will look into the gender balance, regional balance, and uh, definitely we will get somebody who have the positive thinking. Last question, what is your favorite spot in Nairobi? It's too many to, to, to mention the favorite spot. As an urban planner, I went to Nairobi city center to, to see the uh, urban challenges of Nairobi. Thank you very much, Madame Maimuna, for taking the time to join us in the second episode of 5 in 5. And thank you very much uh, for hosting, uh, Malani. And also, please, uh, uh, we would like to encourage all the others to send in the whatever feedback. Not only question to me, it's also feedback, constructive feedback, how we can send the uh, UN habitat to another height. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm.